All right, and we are live. It's time once again for Sykeston this week, and we are with Jason Davis, and he is the executive director of Historic Downtown Sykeston. Jason, how are you doing today? Doing well, Clayton. Thank you. Absolutely. We, we are glad to have you here, and uh, we're also looking at uh, something I always look forward to because I always love to see what, uh, what sort of musical combinations and, uh, and what interesting sorts of things get uh, brought together for music in the park and um, you all now know who's uh, who's lined up right uh, for for music in the park yeah that's right last week i talked a little bit about <clears throat> the music in the park summer concert series and uh, we did our uh, show last tuesday and then on wednesday morning we announced the bands that would be coming to uh, this year's edition of the music in the park summer concert series and so uh, I just thought I would uh, share those today. Uh, we have a great lineup this year. Uh, we have some bands that have not been here before that'll be playing, and then some uh, local favorites as well. So the Music in the Park Summer Concert Series is going to take place uh, each Friday night in June and July, except for a couple of Friday nights that we won't have shows because of conflicting events or holiday weekends. And uh, it's going to start on... June the 2nd with uh, one of the favorites uh, has quickly become a favorite. It's a, a band called Double Take, and it's uh, two twin brothers uh, from Portageville who uh, put on a great show. And then uh, there's a, a kid that plays the drums from Sykeston, Luke Tanner, and uh, they always uh, put on a great show. They've been at the Music in the Park Summer Concert Series the last, I think, three or four years. And the last two years, they've been our opening act for the Summer Concert Series so they'll be in Legion Park on Friday, June the 2nd, and then June the 9th, we'll follow up with the band who, as far as I know, this is their first time playing at the Summer Concert Series, and it's Southern Draw, and you can imagine what kind of music they have. It's going to be a great night. I've watched some of their stuff online and pretty excited to have them as well. And then on uh, June the 16th, we will not have a show. That's the Friday of the hot air balloon festival and i'm going to talk about that in just a little bit and then we'll be back on friday june the 23rd with the band blind velvet uh, they're a sykeston uh, local band uh, favorite and uh, they always put on a good show they're some young guys who uh, love to play music love to entertain and they're pretty good at it and so we're excited to have them back and then that friday after that is the friday before july 4th and so we won't have a a concert that night we usually leave that night open for people as they're headed off to the lake or to the river or on vacation or whatever the case may be for the holiday weekend we'll kick back off in july with uh, the dirt road express on july the 7th they've been here the last i think three years and they are a very talented country uh group who uh they they just do some incredible covers uh, so they'll be back on June the, July the 7th. July the 14th is a band from East Prairie, uh, a band called Keyed Up. And then the 21st will be the Millstones. And we'll finish off our 2023 Music in the Park Summer Concert Series with Sykeston favorite uh, all the way back from the 80s, uh, the band called Contempo. So we're pretty excited about this year's uh, concert lineup. It's going to be uh, great Friday nights from 6 to 8 in Legion Park. And thanks to our sponsors, who we are very thankful for. That event is free. Uh, it's a it's free to come. Just bring your lawn chairs to Legion Park. It'll take place in the Keith Collins Bandstand. Uh, you will need a, a, a chair or a, some type of blanket or something to sit there. The fountain will be going if the bands are okay with it. Every once in a while, we'll have a band. That would prefer the fountain to be turned off but uh, i think last year every band was okay with our fountain being running so the kids can play in the water and you can enjoy the live music so it's the music in the park summer concert series back to legion park this year from six to eight every friday night in june and july except the 16th and i believe it's the 30th all right great stuff no absolutely and those uh bands sound like a great lineup i know uh, i think i've spoken to a few of them before and you know just the a range of musical talent blind velvet i believe i had a conversation with one of those guys the great uh, great uh, great talent there and so i'm sure sure folks are looking forward to all of that um 
as well as, and I know that folks are very much looking forward to the Hot Air Balloon Festival, and, uh, and certainly is something that sticks out, something pretty unique going on. Can you tell us more about that, just a taste of, of what's to come there? You know, I, I, I can try. Uh, I'm not really sure about what to expect. I know that this uh, Hot Air Balloon Festival Committee has been working on this event, I think about 15 or 16 months. Uh, I was in one of the early meetings when the idea was thrown out. And I remember uh, there was some curiosity like, well, what does that mean? And can we do it? And and uh, they put together a team and that team uh, has uh, up to this point done an incredible job of organizing and making plans and uh, getting this event put together. It is our first hot air balloon festival in Sykeston. It's going to be taking place on the weekend of Friday, June the 16th, Saturday, June the 17th and Sunday, June the 18th. And there is a whole list of activities that'll be going on. Uh, it'll be taking place at the Sykeston JC Boot Hill Rodeo Grounds. Uh, and man, not only is there gonna be several hot air balloons, I think the number, the last number that I heard was 11 or 12 hot air balloons that were gonna be here. Now don't hold me to that, I, I, I'm, that's kind of secondhand, but that's the last number that I heard. And then over a hundred vendors will be here as well. There's going to be live music. Um, there's a, going to be a, a beer garden and a wine garden, I believe. Uh, they're also going to have a petting zoo out there and live music. So it's going to be this, uh, like I said, I, I, I don't even know what to expect. The only thing that I know is when uh, it gets brought up in conversation, people who have been to hot air balloon festivals are super excited because they said you can't even imagine what it's going to be like to see one hot air balloon uh, kind of be on display, much less uh, multiple hot air balloons on display. I know they're going to have the opportunity to give tethered balloon rides and those types of things. So it's going to be an incredible event that weekend on Friday, June the 16th through Sunday, June the 18th at the Sykeston JC Boot Hill Rodeo Grounds our first ever Sykeston Hot Air Balloon Festival. And if you need more information or you wanna find out more about the festival or even make contact with somebody, you can check out the festival's Facebook page or you can email Sykeston Hot Air Balloons at gmail.com. All right, good stuff. Anything else to mention today before we wrap up? Yeah, you know, and, and that's just a that's just a couple of events that are going to be happening this summer, uh, and things that are going to be happening. I know uh, it's getting into that busy time. This I won't be able to be on for the next couple of weeks because of travel and and some other meetings that I'll be in, and so it'll be the second week in June before I'm back. But you know, as we get into summertime, there are not only these types of events like music in the park. Uh, like the Hot Air Balloon Festival, but Sykeson is hosting a, 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 a Cal Ripken uh, regional baseball tournament at the end of July. And so they're getting together sponsorships for that. That's going to be a big deal. There are people coming from, I believe, six different states and two provinces in Canada, possibly. And so that's going to be really cool for our area, not only Sykeson, but really the surrounding area. And uh, <clears throat> so we're looking forward to that event. And, uh, you know, of course, then before you know it, we're back into August with uh, the rodeo and the rodeo parade and then the wine festival. So it's, it's getting into a very busy time in Sykeston, uh, but it's good busyness with a lot of activities for families, uh, things to come and do. And not only that, to also support the economy through shopping local. So uh, just a great time to be uh, involved in the things happening in our community. All right, great stuff. Jason Davis, he is with Historic Downtown Sykeston. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Clayton. All right, to our audience as well, thank you for being here. We're going to turn it back over to Local News Live. Stick around. We have Heartland News now coming up at 4 o'clock.